G'day everybody, welcome back to Dinkum on episode 177. Yesterday was, I don't know, an interesting day, but a bit of a painful one if you ask me. I mean, at least for me, because we had trouble finding Ted at the end of the day and uh, actually completing his request. But uh, all in all though, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we managed to get a few things done here and there. I have started the day out in the house today purely because we obtained this teapot from uh, from John. Sorry, not from John, from Ted. Uh, and yeah, I figure maybe we should put it down somewhere. It was very dark yesterday, so I couldn't really see uh, what the teapot looked like exactly. So let's just take a very quick look at it now. Ooh, okay, that's quite nice actually. And yeah, as I said, it is a uh, sort of like a camping style teapot. I might actually just put it like maybe here, just as a little bit of a cool looking object that we could adm admire. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess that's that's all that it's good for, I assume. Let's get the day started. Couple of uh, rewards here from the Animal Research Center. We'll grab that. And uh, let's just quickly spend time placing the traps down. There still hasn't really been much of a rainy day in winter at all, so I have no idea how often those rainy days come. Uh, I'm getting a little bit sort of itchy uh, to you know, sell some of these uh, <laughs> these rubies off to to Jimmy uh, purely at least for the sake of finding out how much they might be worth if we sell it to him. But anyway, let's see if we can grab some uh, fertilizer ingredients here. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got enough of anything. Perhaps maybe the shells might be uh, the way to go for the day. So let's quickly, sorry, grab those two ingredients and chuck them in. Now it is a Monday today, which is fantastic. I've been waiting for the last couple of days to speak to Franklin about getting some bombs uh, so that we can clear out the, the underwater um, rocks or the, uh, yeah, that's right, the underwater rocks, because we do have a bit of a problem with that. Uh, Let's see, let's just grab our farming tools and we'll see what we actually need to work on here. We've got plenty of wheat ready for harvest. Let's just grab all of this. I want to make sure that we don't accidentally cut down any of the uh, any of the carrots there. Okay, very good, and I don't know guys, maybe we should put down some kale in this space. I'm keen to actually have a ton of kale growing, since uh, winter is the only time to, to get kale. Let's check on the other farm patches here, so it looks like some more carrots are ready. Let's grab all of that. Very nice, and more carrots over here. Okay, looking good. Um, and I suppose the only other thing that we really need to do is get the wool and the milk. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with the cherries a little bit later. Good stuff, and thank you very much, Fate. Now, where's Spike? Did I see him this morning? I have a feeling I saw him around. Ah, there he is. Okay, let's give him his breakfast very quickly. There you go. Enjoy, mate. Now, I guess we just need to put a few of our tools away and we should be off. Uh, 
Probably chuck the fertilizer away as well. And I think we're done here. Let's head into town. Do what we need to do at the workshop to start off with. And then we'll definitely have a chat with Franklin today. See about making those bombs. I have no idea what ingredients we need for those bombs, to be honest. Um, and you know what? I, I just remembered. We have a whole bunch of crops that we need to plant down, don't we? <laughs> so we'll do that as soon as we get back. So uh, anyway, let's get more cheese on the go. Let's get more cloth on the go. Yeah, it looks like the cloth is spitting out in the right direction here. So I'm happy about that. Um, we can get some more wheat grinding. Very good. Uh, let's put a few things away here. So cheese and is that it? Perhaps. Let's put the bat zapper away. And I think we've got a few knickknacks here that we can store. Ah yes, we've got some bottled brew as well. Better chuck that in here. And we should get some brews going. So maybe a waddle flower brew and another bottled brew. Speaking of, we have sort of run out of yellow wattle flowers, haven't we? So uh, we should actually spend a bit of time gathering some of those up. Just so that we've got a little bit of a stock going. Uh, is that everything that we need to do here? Let's just quickly check. Yeah, dirt printer is fully charged, so is the compactor. Um, Alright, so I suppose we just need to uh, speak to John about selling a whole bunch of stuff and then uh, speaking to Franklin. Uh, actually, speaking of Franklin, maybe we should give uh, him or her <laughs> some of these shiny discs. Uh, and see how much money we can make from that. Uh, we've got pearls, that goes here, goes there, giant drumstick, let's uh, continue with the wheat grinding, quickly check on the recycling bin here, a white t-shirt, I don't think I've seen that before, let's uh, quickly chuck that on. Yeah, that's not a bad look. We'll keep that on for the day, I think, and uh, yeah, let's continue what we need to do here. Uh, we've got a street lamp, very nice. Uh, I don't know if we do have a place that we need to put a street lamp in though, so maybe we'll actually leave it in here. I, I don't really know if I'm going to sell that to John yet, but uh, I know I'm going to sell these things to John. Um, let's Let's actually... Go see him. Ah, I see you've got a nice fossil there. Looks like it weighs around 2.5 kilograms. Add us 15,000 sound. Sure. Okay, and let's quickly sell a few more things. So you can have the seeds, the wooden bedside table, the Jackaroo statue. We've got a whole bunch of... Uh, seafood here that we managed to get yesterday and I think I'm pretty happy with that. 217,000. Jeez. That is a lot of money. <laughs> I, I'm guessing it's the gold statue that has given us quite a bit of money there. Um, so Sally wants to practice smelting, needs a spinifex tough, easy. Theo needs those wooden crates. Still got a few days on that, so that's fine. Um, I'm hanging on to these carrots for some reason. Let's put that away. All right, let's have a chat with Franklin and do what we need to do there. Firstly, let's just uh, give away the shiny discs here. Yes. Uh, I have some shiny discs for you. Excellent. Those shiny discs have very inter interesting information on them. There you go. These are fascinating. I can learn a lot of uh, a lot from these. I'll offer you 107,000 dink. Jeez, just like that, we're so rich today. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wonder if this will unlock anything. 
Nah, it doesn't look like it. Got a brick fountain, which we already know how to build. Yes. Can you make the bomb for me? Okay, so we need some fertilizer, which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked to use our fertilizer for actual fertilizing, but uh, anyway. I think it's just going to have to be done though. Uh, and I guess you can only get like one bomb per day. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see what that's all about. I don't know how far away you have to stand from it either, so uh, that'll be interesting. So we need a couple of bright wires. And we need some sugar, we need some croc teeth. I've been selling all of my croc teeth, um, so... The good thing we've got a little bit of a stock, so we need some sugar. And one bag of fertilizer, apparently. Alright, so let's head home. And as soon as we get back, we'll just work on the farm for a little bit. And then let's not forget to, to just grab ourselves one bag of fertilizer for the creation of this bomb. I think I saw a poo over there. Just quickly grab that. Okay, so uh, let's grab the seeds that we need. I think maybe we'll replant every type that we've actually taken today. So um, we've got wheat, we've got kale, and we've got some carrot as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll do kale in this section. Good stuff. And for the next patch, um, which is not here, right here, maybe we'll do some wheat here. Let's do some carrots in this one. We are running out of carrot seeds, so a little bit worried about that. Maybe we should actually go see Rain before the day finishes. I think she closes at maybe 4 o'clock or something like that, so we should try and get back pretty quick. Alright. Um, we just need that bag of fertilizer, and we should be set. Ooh, I missed an egg here, apparently. Let's grab that. And, yeah. Actually, we do need that fertilizer, don't we? So, we'll grab that. And let's put the seeds away. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's head back, and let's check in on both Rain and Franklin. Speaking of checking in, I should have actually asked people if they needed anything, like Franklin, uh, as well. Guess we can do that right now. Hopefully it's a task that'll be pretty easy to do. But uh, anyway, we shall find out. Let's get more wheat going. Two o'clock. Just want to be a bit quick here. Yes? Uh, let's chat. Oh, what do you want to chat about? Do you need anything? Ah, actually I have an empty miner's helmet I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Could let it go for 5,000 dink? Sure. I'll charge it and then resell it to John. I think that might give me a profit, but uh, anyway. Let's have you make the bomb. So, you're interested in my bomb. It will be very handy, I can assure you. Now, to make that item, I will require the components and 10,000 dink. I'll also require a day or so to make it. Do we have an agreement? Let's do it. Excellent. I'll begin right away. It'll probably take all night, but I assure you it'll be ready by tomorrow. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Okay, cool. And let's quickly speak to Rain about seeds. 
Uh, okay, we definitely want more carrot seeds. So let's just quickly buy some of this up. Okay, and we'll buy some wheat as well. Okay, good stuff. And you know what? Since we're in all this... Oh, actually, sorry, this miner's helmet is actually full. I thought they said it's an empty miner's helmet, or hang on, hang on the bar is grey, so maybe it is empty. Sorry. Uh, let's just chuck that in there. Sorry, I thought it I thought it was full for some reason. Anyway, uh, let's speak to Fletch. Well, not really speak to Fletch, but let's address the uh, the debt. The town is currently in 91,477 dink in debt and is looking for donations. Please consider donating to our town. Sure. Let's get it paid off. Very nice indeed. Okay, so now that we've done everything that we needed to do for the day, uh, the question is figuring out what to do next. So I figure maybe we should spend a little bit of time working on the Western Connection project as usual. So uh, let's head out and let's do what we need to do. In fact, we could probably leave the bike here. Uh, we can just teleport there, do some of the work there and then teleport back. I think that'll be the the best way. But actually, you know, going around by bike may actually let you meet with Ted, uh, if you're lucky. So there's that. But considering how much pain we had with Ted yesterday, I think I'm uh, <laughs> going to take a little bit of a break from that. Uh, and yeah, if it gets very late, we can even sleep here as well, which is... Uh, always an option. Be nice to sleep under the stars, although this game doesn't really portray too many stars in the sky. I wish that was uh, more of a thing, but uh, anyway. Let's continue to raise the island over here. I think maybe we might be able to do perhaps maybe close to half of it today. Actually, I didn't really need to do that, did I? Because uh, I'm actually going to be connecting this with, uh, with bridges. Apologies, guys. I'm forgetting my own plans here. wondering why I'm not using the soil printer guys is because uh, well we've printed a whole bunch of soil towards this side and uh, I figure if we're gonna connect it with a bridge I might as well use some of the soil that's been printed here and just reposition them I just don't want to drop down and accidentally get eaten by a shark oh Seriously? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, just be a little bit careful here.
Yeah, that shark is super interested <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit careful. Why don't I just like try and get rid of it? Whoa. <laughs> oh lord. Jeez. Maybe I should uh, just shoot off a bunch of flames at it. Make it go away. Yeah, you don't like that, right? You don't like that. There we go. Actually, that didn't take uh, too many hits to go down. I might as well grab all of this flake. Since it's free and everything. Um, just grab a little bit more. Place it like so. Cool. I think we're almost ready for our bridge. There's this, there's this stone <laughs> down there that's sort of in the way. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how the bomb works uh, tomorrow. Hopefully it'll get rid of it. But anyway, let's continue printing our soil onto the mini island here. making the mistake of printing the soil on top of the area that I don't really want to print on, but anyway. I won't fuss too much about it, because, yeah, I might thicken up the island a little bit eventually as well, so... Just want to be careful here, we're getting very, very low. I think that should be the last one. Let's put the dirt printer away just in case we break it. So um, let's put the jackhammer back and I think that's all the work that we're going to do on the Western Connection project for the day. Um, unless we want to think about how the bridge is going to connect, potentially. So we could do something like that. And you know what? I have been meaning to always try the, uh, the infinite soil trick that people have been talking about all the time. <laughs> And uh, apparently you just dig as far as you go uh, with like one hole and uh, you'll essentially be able to get infinite soil that way. So let's just give that a little bit of a go. I think that's it, right? Like that's that's as deep as the hole would go. Oh, actually I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Uh, definitely not seeing it go down further. So we're just infinitely getting more and more soil here. And I assume the technique works with different biomes as well. So if you wanted like infinite sand, this is what we're doing right now. But then you can have like infinite, I don't know, red dirt or whatever. Um, 
and uh, you just need to dig a hole in the right biome. So uh, anyway. Uh, but then the problem is covering up the soil later on, right? I mean, I suppose I can use the soil printer for that, right? So... Okay guys, uh, look, I think we'll call it a day in terms of the project today, um, and maybe we'll switch things up and work on the actual western path as well, because it is not even 9 o'clock just yet, so we've got a little bit of time to work with uh, before we have to go to bed. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually not entirely sure there's much to work on, to be honest. Uh, perhaps maybe placing down some more paths might not be a bad idea. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, but we definitely need more rock paths, so... I might actually go back to town and craft some of those rock paths for next time. Uh, we could actually quickly lay down a bridge here, since we've got things set up already. Okay, yeah, looking good. Just need a little bit more space here to put down some steps. Speaking of some steps, we actually need to craft a few more steps as well, so maybe we can spend a little bit of time doing that crafting. Won't say no to a bit of treasure. Okay, let's head back. Uh, over here. Ooh. And look, the crafting is probably not going to take too much time, so we could potentially spend some time looking into the two uh, the two billboard quests that we have to do. I think one of them is a Spinifex Tuft request. Can't remember who wants it, but we'll just grab it for now. We need stones. We need cement I think for the steps uh, let's just take a look yep so stone steps let's just craft a few of these and now we'll go into rock paths we'll craft quite a few here Should be enough for now. Um, let's drop some more wheat in and we'll grab that spare miner's helmet. We'll chuck it at John's uh, just so that we remember that we need to sell this off at some point. Oh, haven't gotten the uh, the gacha machine going. Better, um, better get that going right now. Good stuff. Ah, and we may as well charge the dirt printer right this moment as well. So... There we go. And... What was the other request? Ah yes, we need a couple of wooden crates. So... I think we need like... 
couple of different types of planks and then nails, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where is it? There we go. Wooden crates. There we go. For once, I remember what we need. Anyway, let's go back to Theo. See if we can hand this in right away. Uh, actually, you know what? We may also craft ourselves a few more, uh, like, flower beds and whatnot. Uh, okay, so Sally wants the spinifix. Blue, here to see little old me? I completed your request. You brought me one spinifix tuft? I sure did. Here you go. Thank you, Blue. Take these two spinifix resin. I just like smelting them and I don't really need them. Righto. And we've got... Uh... Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, Theo. That's it. Did I see him? Yes, there he is. Ah, oh, it's Blue. Uh, I did that thing for you. Ah, oh, Bonzo, you crafted two wooden crates for me? I certainly did. There you go. When I put up that post, I knew you'd be the one to pull through for me. Here's your 7,000 dink. Nice. Alright, and uh, just going to quickly place down a couple of steps here. Because we can. And where else should we put steps? Maybe around here somewhere. There we go, and I think Sally could do with a couple of flower beds. So let's actually craft those flower beds first. Maybe we can craft a few flower pots as well. Might as well. Oh wow, okay, they need three cement though, <laughs> so that's a little bit expensive. Um, I mean, expensive from a uh, from a number of stones perspective um, compared to the um, the flower beds. Uh, let's get more wheat going. And I think we can probably afford to use some of our stone steps here as well for uh, Franklin's place. And speaking of, we should also finally place down the pathway that leads to his lab. His or her lab? Still unsure, guys, but <laughs> anyway. There we go. Uh, hang on, guys. I'm just uh, not entirely happy with the with the pathway situation going on here. Okay. Uh, there we go. I think that looks better now. And uh, yeah, finally it is late and uh, we're getting a little bit tired here. So anything we can eat to Replenish stamina. Maybe just have one banana. I think that should do us for the night. Uh, looking good. I was thinking about whether or not we should end the episode at the spare house and see what's going on there. Uh, because we haven't actually seen it uh, completely built yet. Maybe we'll go for a little bit of a visit tomorrow. Uh, and at the same time we can maybe bring like a house customization kit or something and Maybe customize it a little bit, make it look nice. And uh, yeah, we've got a few flower pots which we can use as well. Um, and just, you know, generally beautify that particular house. But uh, anyway, guys, I think today has been a pretty decent day. Very productive. We finally got uh, those bombs. Uh, commissioned, well at least one bomb commissioned from Franklin, so I'm very very excited to see 
how to use that um, when we get to it tomorrow. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.